Right. Well, the cats ate a whole other can of food, and this guy still hasn't come out. So I've got his usual food here. At least he's looking, paying some attention. I saw his, his eye there. Is he? Is he gonna? Would he eat that? No. He's not done. Uh, he's not doing it. <sighs> Backed off. And that way you can see what's going on in there. He's not paying any attention. The food now. There's one drop there you could get to. He's got to be hungry, right? I wonder if critters out there need to be fed. I'm worried that he's got an abscess or something that he's hiding or he's sick. I just don't know. And I've never picked this guy up without getting hurt. So I don't know what to do right now. Vets are really hard to get to these days after the pandemic. I have to take him to an emergency place. Before I do that, I want to have a, some kind of clue that there's something wrong with him. Well, I'll try some wet food on him later. Well, I was just petting him and he hissed at me. He didn't attack, but he hissed. He warned me. He doesn't want me to pet him. Arr, I just don't know what to do here. But with the other cats in the neighborhood, it's possible he's got himself an injury that's forming an abscess. He just doesn't feel up to snuff right now. And that would mean he needs to go to a vet and get antibiotics. But I don't know that. And I don't know how to get him out of there without getting hurt. Alright, so I set this up with some water outside there. And a little bit, I'll put some wet food there. Problem is, like I said, this is an indoor cat day for the, the other four cats. So if I put some food there, I don't think Ollie will be the first one to get to it. And I'll try it in a while. They've already had quite a bit to eat. Uh, Pumpkin is up there. Just uh, keep an eye on things, I guess. I don't know. Uh, He's not a he's not a happy kitty. But why? I don't know why. Okay, well some time has gone by and he hasn't moved. And my next thing is to put some food in yeah, of course, guess what? This is for him to try. You've already eaten today. You had plenty to eat today. Back up. Let's see if I can entice Ollie here. No, he's not. He's not showing any interest. Oh, oh he's just here. He knows there's something out there. You back off a little bit. Ollie, you want to try that, Ollie? No. Uh, oh, it's food and water both together. Mm. He's really suspicious. <sighs> Feisty is here bumping the camera around. No, he's not going to come out for it. I don't know what I can do except leave it here and hope that I know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. That's going to happen. Uh, yeah. Come on, Ollie.
Well, Feist is controlling himself. He's not, he hasn't gobbled it up. So he's got some idea that that's for Ollie. I think he even has some sense of sympathy for Ollie. Oh, well, I'm going to have to uh, let this play out. And he hasn't done anything. I just don't know. Put some food up to his nose and he hissed at me. To me, he's acting like a sick kitty. But... He wasn't too sick to be up in the window waiting for me this morning. When he saw me going to get food, he jumped down into the porch as usual and waited at the door as usual. The only thing different was he came in. And he hasn't eaten. And I don't believe he had anything to drink either. So to me, this is sick kitty, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with him if he's sick. I'd like to at least have some idea. The other thing is the strange environment of being in here when he wasn't really expecting to be trapped indoors because, you know, he's not that bright. He's a cat. <laughs> Heck, he just could be scared to death and... I don't know. I just don't know. You sure you don't? Sure you don't want some of this food? Oop, I dropped it. Nope, I didn't mean to drop it on you. Oh, you hear that? Sorry. Doggone it. Oh, well. He's just not interested.